All right, top of the morning team. Happy September 24th already. God, you guys. Uh, I think it's what 100 days from now we're at the beginning of the year and you know as we go into this last quarter you guys we'll probably be focusing a lot on what your plans are for Q4 this is your sprint this is how you're going to end the year strong this is how you're going to make sure that you give yourself some momentum Christmas escrows holiday escrows travel time all those things that you guys want to do and so it's important that we're really laser focused on how we're going to end this year because we also want you guys to be able to travel, go on those trips to see your family, go and take those trips down to Disneyland, Disney World, wherever you guys want to go. And so it's going to be full tilt. It's also, this is event season. There's tons of events going on. There's EXPCon, there's FUBCon, there's all these events that are happening. So also, you know, give yourself a little bit of wiggle room as also some budget that if you want to go to an event that you have the time and you have the resources and you have the money to be able to go and, you know, expand your mind and, and build those relationships. Because every time we go to an event, come back a little bit better. We try to pour that information into you guys. And so really excited about where we are. I'm going to turn the mic over to Karina for a quick teaching moment of the week. Karina, I'm going to pass it over to you. Awesome. Good morning, everyone. So, um... My first is a reminder about SkySlope. Be sure you log into your SkySlope sooner rather than later. There's some new click-through update to make sure that you're in compliance with NAR guidelines. Um, either you and or your TC will need you to click through in order to get into SkySlope. So do it ahead of time if you can. The second is that CAR dropped some really informative, frequently asked question style guides about seller concessions, RLA, open houses, and the BRBC. We can take a little bit closer look on our Thursday session, but I'll also drop it in Slack so that everybody is aware. Those Thursday sessions are on the second and fourth Thursdays, and they're also shared in Fast Class. So that's this Thursday at 10 a.m. in Elias's room. Thank you. Perfect. And the reason why we're doing it once or twice a month now is because we want to make sure that we're not competing with what's happening with uh, Synergy. But Karina, Synergy decided to go only twice a month now, too. So we might want to be on the opposite week. So we'll figure all that out, you guys. But um, I saw on the Daily City channel that people are getting together in Daily City. They're going to be doing open house dialogue and scripting and practicing and role playing. So you're, you're definitely encouraged that no matter what office you're closer to, if you want to band together and put together some type of training of your own, some script role play sessions, we encourage that for you guys. You're the soldiers out on the field. So if you have something that you feel is working for you, or if you feel like you're getting stumped with your dialogue, then make sure that you are practicing it. But let's do this. Let's go and let's introduce a, a couple new faces. Ariel, say hello to everybody. We met Ariel at one of our branding workshops a couple weeks ago in Hayward. So Ariel officially joining the team. Would you like to say hello and quick introduction uh, to the team? Hi, um, I'm Ariel. Um, I'm based in Oakland. I'm brand new to real estate, but I have done a lot of like property management stuff prior. So looking forward to get my social media presence up and being part of the team. That's right. That's right. And you also manage Airbnbs here as well as in Hawaii. Is that correct? Um, I had a Turo car in Hawaii. So Airbnbs are just out here in Oakland right now. Okay, cool. What kind of Turo car are you renting in Hawaii? Um, it's not functional anymore, but it was a Volkswagen Tiguan, but I, I did close that side down. Okay. All right. Well, nice to have you on the call. Welcome to the team. Let's go to Andrea Roberson. No T in it. Roberson. Andrea, welcome to the team officially. Let's go ahead and have you introduce yourself and then tell us what market you serve. Hello, Wayne. Sorry, I'm eating breakfast. Um, so my name is Andrea Roberson. I am in the Stockton area, serving most of the Central Valley, but I also um, will venture out to the Bay Area. So Nice to meet you all. I've been here a couple of times, but now I'm officially on the team. So Hello. that's right. Well, it's nice to have you. Thanks for being here. Any other first timers to the call? You want to do a quick introduction or if you are a guest here, would you like to say hello? Going once, going twice. All right, cool. Oh, that was something. I heard something and then it cut out. All right, cool. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Let me go ahead and get my slides up and ready. We are ready to go. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and share my screen here, you guys. All right, perfect. All right, and then let me go ahead and present this. All right, cool. Here we go, you guys. Let's go.
ahead and dive right in. Obviously, out with community contributions. Uh, we know that that you guys are hosting stuff. I know that there's a big event going on in the next couple of weeks for the NACA program. So who's got an event to talk about? I see a guest, a, a past agent on our team here, Sylvia. Sylvia, what's the event? What do you want to share with us? Nice to see your face. Hi, um, Rogier couldn't make it today. So I wanted to, um, we are hosting a lunch and look. It's with um, Fusion Townhomes and Live Work. They are in Hayward. It's Monday, October 7th from 1 to 2.30. They will give us a short presentation and then they are providing lunch. And uh, it's a networking event. So bring your business cards. There will be other teams from other EXP teams and other agents from other brokerages there also. So again, it's Monday, October 7th. 1 to 2.30. Rogier has already put it in Slack under the Hayward office and under community events. And I will also drop the link. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, good to see you. I appreciate that. Let's go over to Pam. Pam, let's hear from you. So um, we're going to have our, our, our NACA workshop this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And everyone's welcome. Anybody who wants to come, if you're not familiar with NACA, feel free um, to pop in or if you have clients that have um, had questions about it. We are gonna have a workshop at Delta College in Stockton. And so what are you guys at for RSVPs thus far? Actually, we're low, um, 112, which is very low. So <laughs> we've been I slow. Mean, but, so. You're at 80 for today. We had 80, yeah, believe it or not, we had 88 and now we're at 112. So <laughs> we're inching up. <laughs> I mean, that's a good day of registrants, but we also know that people will just show up as well, correct? That's what right, happens. Right, right. All right, all right. <laughs> hey, it's really cool to see what's happened with that program. I remember some of your first sessions were what, just a handful of people, five people, six people? Uh, well, our first home buyer seminar we did last year, it was like, we, it was one, our Stockton office, you know, we had one person and that's, and then now, now we're bumping up, you know. We, we stuck with now, it. <laughs> yeah. Now selling out stadiums. I appreciate that. So good stuff, Pam. Uh, who else has a community event that they want to share information about? Anybody else have something that's going on, going once, going twice? Our resident um, uh, community event person, Ophelia, nothing going on this weekend? Actually, no, not this weekend. But in October, yes, I'm meeting with a uh, the business owner that we met last year. Okay. <laughs> All right, everyone froze on me. Okay, it froze on me. So Karina, if it freezes on me, I'm gonna have you take over. Karina, can you take the mic for a second? It's, I'm getting froze on. Or Molly. Bear with us, you guys. Bear with us. Karina or Molly, can you guys uh, pick up the wall for me really quick? Um, let me... Oh. Sorry, guys. It's not letting me do presenter mode, of course. Present... And All I right. think I think I'm back, so we could we could volley this, and if it gets uh, if it gets shaky, just let me know, okay, Karina? Yeah, can you see my screen? I can, I can. All right, so let's go right into escrows for the week. You guys have been super super busy, so let's start off with blessing. And Carla got into contract in Corning, and Ina got into contract in Vallejo for 145 thousand. So congratulations. Let's see who is on the line today. Ina, let's talk about this deal out in Vallejo. Tell us a little bit about this, uh, what the strategy was, what worked, and how you got your consumer across the finish line. Let's go to you. So this is a cute and tiny little condo, 441 square feet studio. It was a Redfin lead um, that I had listed. And then this is the buyer's side of that. And um, it's, man, pay, being a listing agent pays off because they will come to you first if they can. Ah, I love this. I love this. Well, congratulations. Stoked for that yeah. family. 45000 for a condo in Vallejo. I love it. We'll go to the next page here, Karina. 
All right, so next up we have Lisette, Miranda, and Vernon. They got into contract in Antioch for 370 on a flex deal. And then Brandy Alfonso, it's not on here, but this is actually Brandy's very first official fast deal. Super excited for you, so congratulations. Let's see if Brandy is on. Brandy is not, but Vernon and Lisette are here. So Vernon, I'm gonna turn the mic over to you. Talk to us about this flex deal that you got into contract in Antioch. And tell us a little bit about that market, what you guys experienced. Yeah, Vanessa, we've been working with Vanessa for about six months, actively showing her um, her budget 420. So really restrictive just in terms of what's out in the market for a single family residence at that price point. But we found her a nice fixer. She's not foreign to fixing properties. She's done it a couple of times before. So we found her a cool fixer, 2-1, 1,300 square feet at 370. Um, we're able to able to negotiate a little seller credit for her for 7k so that was super helpful just happy to help her out um but she, like i said i've been working with her for some time and got her into contract so we're hella juiced so vernon let me let me ask you did she start in antioch or did she work her way out to antioch and she was she closed-minded about east coco first off no she wasn't so we did antioch we did vallejo of course you know we had to go to some of the most affordable markets in the bay area for her price point and so um, it was just tough to find something that was clean that didn't have, you know, a, a foundation falling apart with for that price point at single family residence. So that's really what what took us. We 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 wrote writ, uh, wrote an offer a couple of times, but um, got beat out again. Our buying power was limited, but man, just persistence pays off. She was open minded um, and a realism, real a realist in terms of what was out there for her price point, but we found her something, man. It's perfect little cute little spot for two one. Everybody's happy. Beautiful. Love it. Well, congratulations to you. Congratulations Thanks. to that as well as to Brandy. We're going to go to the next category. So next up, you guys, we have George Martinez and Ricky got in a contract in Bay Point for 550. Let me see if George is here. Let me see if Ricky is here. Neither one of them are here. So giant round of applause for them. We'll go to the next category. Uh, Kelly Kelly and Sebastian got in a contract on a flex deal in Oakland for 599. Kelly, I think I see you there right next to Mark. Let's go over to you. Let's talk about this deal. Let's talk about the strategy, what you experience, and how you got this flex deal into contract. So Kelly Kelly, let's hear from you. Oh, Mark, is she there? Yeah, no, she's printing out the expired list. Okay. list so she'll no worry. Tara will come back to her in a couple minutes. We're just going to yep. keep on moving. All right, Mauricio got in contract in Hayward for five, or excuse me, six fifty five. Vanessa got in contract in Manteca for seven oh one, and then Blessing got in contract in Antioch on a flex deal for seven ten. So about this deal, what was the the formula? What was the strategy, and what worked to get this client into contract? Let's hear from you. Blessing going once, blessing going I, twice. I didn't hear who you said, so. <laughs> Sorry, let's um, go, blessing. So these are clients that started working with in June, and we were they were very focused on what they wanted. They knew, even though they were first time buyers. So doing the consultation and guiding them, we ended up having to put their search on hold um, because he got an offer in Thailand. So obviously, if they were going to be moving out of the country, we had to pause the search. And just by con constantly dripping properties to them, she um, texted me out of the blue, seriously out of the blue on Sunday and said, we are staying in the US and we're on our way to go see two open houses. So when they told me that they fell in love with one, I just went right over and being able to talk to the listing agent and really find out what the sellers were looking for is how I was able to put this one together. And we are smooth sailing. We have inspections coming off um, Thursday is when we're looking to remove that. Super smooth. And it's a blue house, which is all she really wanted. We even The dogs even approve. Wait, it's a blue house? It's a blue house. All she like, she wanted a blue house. And we kept saying, if we can find one, great. So when I pulled up and I saw that it was blue, I knew it was the one, but it's gorgeous. It's got yeah, five beds, we, four baths. We don't have that search criteria in the MLS, right? Search blue house. We don't, but we found a blue <laughs> house for her. They're very, very happy. Well, I appreciate that. Congratulations to you as well as to your uh, new buyer. And let's go to the next category. 
All right, guys. Next up on the list, we have Tim and Julie got into contract in Oakland for seven hundred and forty thousand dollars. Congratulations. Let's see if Tim is on. Let's see if Julie is on. No, they are not on, but huge congratulations to these two. We'll continue going. Joseph Chin and Ronnie Escalante got in contract in Oakland for $750. Great job, gentlemen. Look forward to seeing you guys out in um, Las Vegas in about a week. So congratulations to you. Let's see if Joseph's on. Nope, he's not. So Karina, we'll go to the next section. All right, so Jen got in a contract in San Leandro for $800,000, and Sierra got in a contract in Oakland for 970 so i love these price points let's see if sierra is on we are striking out here let's see if jen is on neither one of them are on so we will continue cruising forward all right so ina and ilona got into contract again for a million sixty thousand rick got in contract for 1.1 in san diego and jung he got in contract for one three so rick i think i see you here you were on your present i think i saw your face a little bit a little while ago rick are you still here Rick going once, Rick going twice. All right, cool. We'll turn the mic back over to Ina. To Ina, tell us about this deal. Hi, me again. Um, so this deal, <laughs> she came through. She she just wanted something uh, in South Berkeley, under eight or nine hundred thousand, and we're in contract in Emeryville at a million sixty. So I think Ilona really did a good job of understanding why she wanted South Berkeley and to stay in that price point and come to find out that we were able to meet all of her needs in Emeryville and that she actually had room in her budget to stretch for a property that's super perfect for her. Um, so I loved that lesson because sometimes I box in to what they say. And I think Sierra said this once a little while ago, sometimes they don't really know what they need. And if you do a little bit more exploring, uh, you might end up with a good situation. Yeah, and they're not too far away, right? They're not too far away from Berkeley. So exactly. uh, I love this. congratulations to you. Congratulations to Ilona. We're going to go to the next section here. And thank you, Karina. I appreciate you billing me out here. All right, guys, next up on the list is Kyle. Kyle got in a contract in Mill Valley for 2.1. Congratulations, Kyle. He's not on the line, so we will continue cruising on. All right, let's go into seller represented. Ina's name again for 145,000. Alexander Guzman got in contract in Stockton for 429,000. That was his first deal. We're going to continue cruising on Karina. All right, V got a contract in Vallejo and Nick got a contract in Martinez, uh, 500 and 550. V, I see you here on the screen. So let's turn over to you. What are you experiencing in the Vallejo market? What was your strategy? What worked? What challenges were you up against? Let's hear from you, V. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Like the seller that I was working with, she was super open with my listing advice, you know, everything from the comparables to staging to like decluttering, deep cleaning. And um, she was very motivated. So that was very helpful as well. She didn't want to be on a market too long. So um, after doing just one weekend of open houses, we were able to get an offer in yesterday. Yesterday. And um, it was over asking and pretty much we're moving forward on day five. Beautiful, beautiful. Congrats. How many people came to the open house? Just curious how many parties came through. The first day I hosted, it was only like 10 parties. And then the second day was four. But the the folks that came on Saturday were the ones that ended up writing for the property Beautiful. Well, congratulations to you. Um, love this. Congratulations, Nick. And let's go to the next section here. I right, continue on. Seller represented. Asir got in contract in Dublin for 1-3. He's on the call today. So huge congratulations to you, Asir. And then uh, for the week, you guys. 22 new escrows last week, a uh, little over $16 million of new production. And this seems to be the trend with you guys. I think last week we were about 18, 17 deals last week. And so 20 and above has been the normal amount of production for us. So great job, you guys. Share this on your social media. Tell other agents if they're looking at making the change, if they want more support, if they want a community, if they want camaraderie, if they want accountability, then this is the place to be. So thank you guys for all your contributions and everyone that got on the board this week. Go to the next category here. All right, so looking ahead, there's a few things that we wanna share with you guys and let's go to the next one here. 
All right. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you to all of these amazing faces for being with us. And this is another year of service with our team. We appreciate you guys choosing us. There's many different options for you, but you guys still have chose to stay with us and we will never discount that. And we appreciate you. So um, cheers to another year of success with us. We're looking forward to continuing to grow for many, many more years with you guys. So thanks for choosing us and thanks for being a part of our team and thanks for being a part of our success. So shout out to these faces. Headshots. Uh, so this looks like, I don't know, Molly, is Patrick on? Or if you want to talk about this, it says book your session tomorrow. But we don't have a QR code on here. Uh, Molly, Karina, anybody want to chime in here? All right, cool. We will, uh, we will move on from this. It says tomorrow and Thursday. And then our buyer representation script role play, we are back this Thursday, September 26th at 10 a.m. This is going to be in my room. This is just our opportunity to make sure that we're unpacking the conversation, that we understand how to introduce our you know representation agreement, as well as the single property torrent agreement, as well as any other other dialogue and challenges with with buyers when they're coming to your open house and so on and so forth. So this is all about practicing here. So we're not practicing with our consumers. So if you feel like you're still a little clunky, a little rusty, or if you just want to perfect your, your verbiage, make sure to tune in. That's for one hour every Thursday, 10 a.m. So make sure that you guys are there. All right, and then Lunch and Learn. This is happening today, you guys, at HQ. Uh, this is a software for you guys to learn or how to get more listings. If you guys are in the area, if you guys can pop through, make sure that you guys are at the office 12 to 1 o'clock today. We would love to see your faces there for this Lunch and Learn. And hopefully you guys take some great information out that will you can apply your are using this and if you're not i think that there's some huge opportunity for all of us because some of you are crushing it on social and some of you are just kind of starting that journey out on social media and some of you are somewhere in between well if you use this this will give you the insights this will give you some direction maybe some motivation some inspiration so i highly encourage you guys to use this every week to get one thing that you can apply in your social media strategy for the week all right, cool. Karina could stop sharing. I'll just click this and then just say stop sharing. So you guys, that is about everything for our slides. Obviously, this was a quicker meeting, quick, short, and to the point. But before we close out, does anybody have anything that they want to contribute, anything that they want to share, anything that they want to provide insight on to the rest of the group? Anybody going once, going twice? You guys like these short, sweet, and to the point meetings, don't you? All right, cool. So you guys, thank you for all of your hard work. Kenny, do we have any parting words before we head out? I know that you're in SoCal. You're, are you speaking today or you're speaking tomorrow? No, I'm speaking at the CRE Imagine on the first panel tomorrow. Okay, very cool. What's the topic? Kun, is Kun here? Uh, Kun's being recognized today. Oh, yes, Ms. Sid Kun was one of the top. Kun and Justin from our team was recognized as two of the ten, top 10 rising stars in California. Essentially, it's a Rookie of the Year award, so we're really excited to that they're able to get that achievement. Justin is in Japan right now, but couldn't say couldn't just text me a minute ago asking if I want some food. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so here's the cool thing about it. They only choose 10 and two of them are fast agents. And the two that are here, that are that are being awarded, they've been in the game for less than two years. And I think that what they've been able to accomplish in two short years, the last time we did this, I think this was, was it 2022, Karina? When Will, yeah. Ernesto, and uh, who was and Peter won it, so you guys, it's it's a huge accomplishment. We're gonna do some press and do some videos once Justin comes back from from his vacation in Japan. But make sure to send them new agents on a team that um, roughly got licensed anywhere later than january 2023 you know there's uh opportunity to apply next year you you have to apply within your first two years of being licensed so it's one of the most prestigious awards you can get as a brand new agent because you only can get in two years after that the next one you can try to aim for if you're on the younger side is top 30 and 30 and then past that it's some there's other awards available it's just not within the cer and ar um environment yeah so this is a huge deal let's go to ophelia and then we'll go to andrea Good question. Did I hear that you guys were having um that we're starting 
a San Francisco office? No, right? our closest office to San Francisco is Daly City. Daly City, that's what it was. Okay. So yeah. But if you need access to the office, just let us know um, or just send Brian a message on Slack and he'll, you know, help you get into that office. And what's great about that office is that if you want to go and eat lunch on the coast, you're about seven minutes away from Pacifica. So especially if it's hot where we are, you head out there, spend a day out there, prospect, cold call, do your follow ups, go get some lunch on the coast and then drive back. Yeah, it's a great place and it's essential to everything. So good stuff. Andrea, let's go over to you. Oh, I just had a question for Pamela. I think she said there's an event in Stockton. Uh, I was just wanted some more information about that. Yep, uh, it's, it's, our, it's our NACA, it's it's our NACA event. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll talk offline. Awesome. Uh, Awesome. Okay. awesome. Awesome. Well, you guys, anything else, anything good for the cause? Anything else that anybody want to share? Molly, Karina, anything else before we head out? All right, guys, listen, go out there. Let's crush our week once again. Um, I'll see everybody at Keep It Moving group coaching tomorrow. If you need anything, you know where to find us, you guys. Thank you for all of your contributions. Continue to be you, but fast. And if you need anything, feel free to reach out. Peace. <laughs>